Well, I've got to say this is probably one of the strangest things I think I've ever done to go on a road trip around Italy with a complete stranger. I feel that I know you a little after I've read your novel, but why did you decide to come? Well, I suppose I just finished that job with the winery. I had a bit of free time from our emails. I realised that you're well read, you're interesting. Well, I mean, you're a librarian, so of course you're well read. And I kind of like the idea that you have planned it all. But I mean, when are you going to tell me what we're actually doing? Well, I like the idea to just let the adventure unfold and I picked a few places just see it doesn't surprise every day. Well, if it's anything like this, I mean, this is fantastic. And this local wine, this is, you know, the, the Fuman grape, it's, um, it's like got a red, it's a red grape, red skin, but also red flesh. So it's, um, it gives a really intense color. And this one's very light on tannins. Well, I like the idea of an adventure unfolding. Yes, who knows? Maybe this trip will even get you back to writing. I don't know about that. But look, how about we play a game? This is a little psychological test that a friend told me, and it's meant to reveal something about yourself. So you want to give it a go? Yes. So what's your favorite color? Red. And name three adjectives to describe red. Hot, lively, and central. Is that how you see yourself? Oh my god. Because <laughs> that's supposed to be oh, yes. how you see yourself. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. The next question is, what's your favorite animal? An elephant. And how would you describe an elephant? Peaceful, strong and beautiful. Is that what you're looking for in a partner? Yes, maybe. Are you at least going to tell me what we're going to do tomorrow? Well, we will stay another day here in Aosta, in Coin. It's a very special place, it's in the mountains and it's um, different, it's unique. That's all you're telling me? Mm -hmm. it always be like this? I have the feeling that we work a whole year to be able to travel for two weeks. Yeah, but you know, I've traveled a lot and I think we need something to be passionate about. Endless travel becomes very boring. Yes. Yesterday, when I asked you about your novel, you didn't seem very interested to talk about it. Well, I mean, every week someone contacts me about that novel, telling me how they thought it was so great. But the reality is, for me, it was a financial disaster. I mean, you know, for a first-time writer, it's really hard to make any money. And I suppose I lost passion for it. I, I don't know if I have anything to say anymore. Mm. What about you? I mean, are you happy with your work? Well, I'm a librarian now for 15 years, and I also have the feeling that I, I need a new challenge. What mm. do you think you'd do? <laughs> Well, actually, I thought about writing a novel. You're kidding me. <laughs> well, uh, maybe. Have you got any ideas? I thought maybe this trip will uh, give me a few ideas. Wow. That's going to make it interesting. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> That's good.